Pennzoil, the motor oil that saves you gasoline, presents Action Makers. Follow them as they risk their lives in search of the unknown. New discoveries become supercharged sensations. The thin line between triumph and tragedy becomes a blur. Meet a special breed of rugged individuals and share a few of their finest moments, the classic good times. Join us for a half hour of thrills, spills, and unique challenges with the Action Makers. This week, the Action Makers travel through England and the United States to find motorcycling adventure in Two Wheels Alive. Everywhere I go, people ask me, Arnie, is that old tractor you drove in the Pennzoil commercial still running? Still running? We use it here at La Trobe every day. And with Pennzoil protecting the engine, there are a lot more miles left in it. You know, this old tractor and I are a lot alike. We're both still using Pennzoil, and we're both still running. Gas-saving Pennzoil. Quality in every extra mile. McElroy, McElroy, McElroy. You don't have to be a wizard to know that the Toyota Tercel is one of the surest ways to get from one place to another with more room inside than any other subcompact. I've done a The 1985 front-wheel drive Tercel, Toyota's lowest-priced car. It's got what it takes to get you where you want to go, even if it's just somewhere over the rainbow. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, welcome to Banner Carpets Circus of Values. Together with Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, Banner Carpets presents in ring one an exciting Anso 4 nylon plush that resists soil and stains. In ring two, a colorful cut and loop of Anso 4 nylon, beautiful and static free. And in ring three, a dramatic premiere collection, Anso 4 nylon Saxony. Plus free circus tickets, balloons, and color posters. Hurry to your nearest Banner Carpet store now. Banner Carpets Circus of Values. We're so hot, we're sizzling. <laughs> In Riverside, California, at De Anza Cycle Park, there is a gathering of a rare breed of two-wheeled infatuates. They stand at the bottom of this humongous hill and actually mount an organized assault in an attempt to get over the top. It is almost impossible to walk up the over 45 degree slope, as much because of the steepness as the loose sandy soil. Yet one after another, these zealots of motorized mountaineering will throw themselves at the hill and into whatever the hill decides to throw back. The special bikes attract much attention with the very long rear suspension frame member that takes the power from the engine to the business end of the missile. The rear wheels are equipped with a special paddle tire or with chains that would make any mountaineer proud. Hill climbers are mostly amateur sportsmen and definitely a breed apart. They are all ages and sizes, and from a most diverse business and economic background. But they have one thing in common, finding the fastest way to the top of the hill. Apart from a safety helmet, the only mandatory requirement is a kill switch device that is attached to a cord which is passed around the rider's wrist. When the rider parts company with his bike, the engine stops. Otherwise, you'd have a 120 horsepower nitro burning, ill-mannered rocket careening all over the hillside. The starts are pretty simple. The difficult part is at the other end of the hill. What goes up has to come down.
and that includes the rider. As I said, it's a steep hill. This guy figures if he can't climb it, he'll whittle away some of the dirt before trying again. Now, if you think Muhammad Ali packs a punch, watch this guy's front wheel. The first rule of hill climbing is don't get in the way of the bike. It's like any sport. The hill is there. It's a challenge. It'd be like a man on a racetrack or anywhere else. We look at a big hill, a super hill, and we want to see if we can make it. Once we've gone over the top, it's no longer a challenge. So therefore, it's no longer competitive. So we look for a new challenge. We look for a new hill, a new tough hill. For one thing, you have to lose the fear of hill climbing. You have to have a good machine. You have to be able to, when you want to turn the throttle off, when conditions look dangerous or whatever, you have to still, as any competitive rider, you must keep it on, the throttle on. Use all full potentials of your motor, your body, whatever it takes to get over the top. Doug is not only the owner-operator of De Anza Cycle Park, he is also a pretty fierce competitor. This is a two-day meet, and one of the most consistent climbers is Larry Silva, 24 years old and a lot smaller than you'd think. I'm sure he has no fear and feels no pain. The San Jose Flyer took home four trophies that day. Top mark on the hill went to this man, Ron Thompson, on a modified 500cc Yamaha. He took it up to the 262 foot mark, but nobody got over the top. For the $4,000 purse, and we're going to put on a wicked show for the exhibition. I'd like to, on the event coming up, start taking up a collection for the best crash of the day. And that was the only excuse they needed to put on a show. Collection they took up total $56, and this is the man who won it. Head first into a mountain, and you just know the mountain never felt a thing. If you think he landed in slow motion, think again. This is how it looks at normal speed. All in a day's fun. Heck, he got paid $56 for the privilege, and this guy got paid $10 just to spray the officials. But none of that phased Craig Mock, one of the American Motorcycle Association's hill climb champions. put in a magnificent run, not 15 feet from the top, to take home the open class modified prize of $800. Ron Thompson, the winner from yesterday, couldn't repeat his triumph but he took home a couple of trophies anyway. Tom LaRue gave us his exhaust pipe view. And 
you still thought the hill wasn't very steep. Two hundred and forty runs at this hill, and only one man made it. For the most part, the more valiant of competitors ended up 15, 20, 25 feet from the timing lights at the 350 foot mark. Then there was this guy from Utah who bought along his own cheerleaders, all four of them. what may, all the pretty girls in the world couldn't hold that bike up on the hill. What a way to go. Well, the, the main challenge is the hill. Uh, all hill climbers, they're not really out for money or even the trophy, as far as that's concerned. They're out to climb the hill because it's there, I guess. <laughs> it's just the challenge more than anything. Get tough. Protect your car with Meguiar's lifetime poly sealant system. Tough protection from polymer technology and 50 years of professional car wax experience. Meguiar, a blend of tough polymers, expensive waxes, and silicones. Get Meguiar's deep shine in one easy step. A shine so tough, we dare to give you a guarantee for the life of your car. Meguiar's in liquid or paste. Well, I got a little itch to take a little ride when an AMC Jeep Renault dealer I spot. What's this, I said? How can it be? Hi, I'm Pete Ellis. I'm your new Jeep and Renault dealer, and I'm overstocked. Why? Because our showroom isn't finished yet. So this weekend, every new Pete Ellis Jeep or Renault in stock is on sale for just one cent over invoice. That's just one cent more than I originally paid the factory. At Pete Ellis Jeep Renault, just one cent over invoice. And that's the truth. You know, people say to me, Fred, who built the pyramids? <laughs> who put the U in UFO, and why don't sunspots leave a stain? Well, I don't know that, but I do know this. The Anniverse is back, where all the savings you've ever missed are back, and yours now announcing Federated's giant anniversary celebration right now. Save on Panasonic VCRs, Sanyo recorders, Yamaha CD players, Fisher audio systems, Tiat cassette decks, and more. Federated's gigantic anniversary celebration, the lowest prices of the year right now. Get into Federated, or I'll do this. <laughs> The man performing this incredible flying W while in complete control of his machine is Dave Taylor, perhaps the world's leading display rider. He dislikes being called a stunt rider, since to him, this intimates a devil-may-care, irresponsible attitude. Not Dave. Everything he does is well thought out and rehearsed. Dangerous? Definitely. Risky? Not for Dave. His performance is as well choreographed as a high wire act. Every motorcyclist dreams of doing a wheelie. It demands a very high level of balance and throttle control. As you can see, Dave has perfected the wheelie. In fact, he can keep that front wheel in the air for miles. And miles. And miles. And miles. A point he drove home recently by establishing a new world record of eight and a half miles while riding through the streets of a town in Holland for a special parade. He has stomach muscles of spring steel to keep that fine balance, as anyone who has ever tried it can tell you. Dave is a 35-year-old family man from London, England. He performs a variety of display feats, and here he steers his motorcycle with his knees. In his hand, he has a remote throttle control. Look, Ma, no hands. Just the thing to impress your local police department. Now, if you get tired of riding alone, try this on for size.
just the thing for a first date. This is sidecar racing, and that very trusting fellow hanging over the rear wheel not only gets to be called a monkey, but on left-handers, he really gets to let it all hang out. Being a trained acrobat certainly helps, as much as having large hands and the ability to understand hanging on for dear life. These outfits are quite capable of exceeding 130 miles an hour. And you can see the need of having an agile partner as they round this 180-degree hairpin and rocket away towards a very fast left-hander. This is no time to have an argument with the driver. This outfit is drifting in an 80 mile an hour slide, and then you can see if the passenger doesn't get out over the left wheel in time, up comes the wheel. And if it comes up high enough, the driver will be looking for a new passenger, because the old one would have been catapulted into oblivion. Most of these outfits are basically home designed and made. They are low, very low. In fact, only knee height. With a 750cc racing motorcycle or car engine, putting out over 110 horsepower. The riders are mostly older and often a little heavier than the solo motorcycle racers. And the passengers, the unsung heroes, hang out over this end while the driver plays the 1812 overture through four carburetors. This is what I call an enthusiastic passenger. Smoke puffs out from his leathers as he hits the ground, and then he drags his whole body along at over 80 miles an hour. There has to be an easier way to earn a living. These days, when you're pumping your own gas, nobody's going to ask to check your oil. That's your job, and Penn's oil is the oil for the job. When you're around golf course machinery as much as I am, you know you've got to check the oil to keep that engine protected. And you know you've got to use a quality oil. So when you check your oil, and you should, ask for Penn's oil. Penn's oil, quality protection. Ask for it. Court furniture blowout sale. $200,000 of rental return furniture must move Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sofas from $49, love seats $39, by feast dinette $69, $12 tables, bedroom sets $149, saved 80% on sleepers, recliners, lamps, bookshelves. At Court Furniture on Industry Circle in La Mirada, Santa Ana Freeway to Valley View, south to Artesia Boulevard, then left one block to Industry Circle. Better come. We may never do it again. Well, I got a little itch to take a little ride when an AMC Jeep Renault dealer I spot. What's this, I said? How can it be? Hi, I'm Pete Ellis. I'm your new Jeep and Renault dealer, and I'm overstocked. Why? Because our showroom isn't finished yet. So this weekend, every new Pete Ellis Jeep or Renault in stock is on sale for just one cent over invoice. That's just one cent more than I originally paid the factory. At Pete Ellis Jeep Renault, just one cent over invoice. And that's the truth. I'm convinced this man is second cousin to a mountain goat. But his name is Mick Andrews, twice a world champion of observed trials, the ballet dancers of the motorcycle world. The idea behind the sport is to ride the toughest of natural terrain while keeping both feet on the pegs. If your feet touch the ground, you lose points. Always remembering the placement of the front wheel and also, more important, the rear wheel. Because that is the one that's giving the drive. So here, on this particular section, there's a, a large amount of arm strength used, lifting the machine onto the top of the rocks, pulling the handlebars. But always we do this in conjunction with the throttle. OK, talking about trials riders, it's always been the impression or the opinion of the road racers and motocross riders that the trials riders, trials riding seems to be an old man's sport or possibly more feminine. 
than the other sports, possibly because it isn't as glamorous and uh, there isn't the same amount of money involved. But uh, when some of these guys have tried to do trials riding, they've realized how difficult it is. They've tried it and given it up as a bad job because they can't do it. Andrews grew up in the small English village of Elton in Derbyshire, and this is where he learned the sport of trials riding. motorcycle is awesome as he glides over the slippery rocks. This is Berrycliff, some property he leases from Britain's National Trust, where he runs a trial school. Will his feet touch the ground? He can weave in and out of rocks, and when it comes to one he can't go round, that's okay, he'll go over it. And still his feet won't touch the ground. If he needs to bring his front wheel in the air, no problem. a precautionary foot, but this was just to splash our cameraman. Mick Andrews, the Nuriev of motorcycling. That's Gary Kincannon with his favorite roles. Gary has a lot of roles in Bentleys, ten million dollars worth. There's only one wax Gary will use on his priceless collection, Meguiar's. More car care professionals use Meguiar's formulas than any other car wax in America. With a $5,000 paint job to protect, Gary won't take a chance on anything but Meguiar's, even for a car that isn't a rose. Get the wax of the professionals. Meguiar's. Since 1901. In a lab that is not supposed to exist, the unthinkable has just taken place. I've got a warning. This is not a drill. See you in the building. No one in or out. How many dead? Any toxin doesn't work. How could anyone allow this to happen? It's not a disease. This is a weapon of war. Warning sign. Rated R. Starts Friday, August 23rd, Pacific Hollywood, Coronet Westwood, and selected theaters. It's Phil and Jim's annual warehouse sale now. Every store has a warehouse just loaded with TV, video, stereo, and appliance savings. Like this lit air microwave that fits over your range with built-in exhaust fan and surface light, featuring touch control and memory program cooking at $449.88. Or this touch control model with program memory at $229.88. And don't forget Phil and Jim's famous low-price written guarantee. Warehouse sale prices now in all stores. Brought to you by gas-saving Pennzoil Multivis. Quality in every extra mile. Ask for it. Pennzoil. Now, if you've ever wondered how these riders get their skills, or where the races of tomorrow are coming from, look no further. This is Mini Motocross, racing for four-year-olds and up. And boy, how it all has changed. These riders have their own styles, their own machines. 
and look out, Little League, their own dads. He tells his kid how, and then has trouble staying on his own two feet. Some of these little guys stand only four feet tall. And some of these little guys turn out to be little girls. There's nothing sacred anymore. But nothing stops Cammie. She is six years old, and she's gonna show these boys how it's done. Oh well, next time. And if you don't ride fast, you can always catch flies. After a little help, off she goes again. And just like the pros, the winner waves at the crowd as he takes the checkered flag. And who said mini bike riders aren't prejudiced? Of course, you asked the obvious question. What school do you go to? I'm only four. I don't go to school. You're only four, you don't go to school. And get a very straight answer. I wonder if this is what George Orwell envisioned. Getting underway, we're a little bit late today. We got a little too much water one time there, and uh, rather than hurt somebody, we uh, load it down. Good luck. Look out, we're ready to do battle. done that twice today. These are the bigger guys riding 80cc machines and the rider in purple, you guessed it, is a bigger girl and she knows how to show the boys. I've heard of hanging 10, but this is ridiculous. And Debbie keeps those boys chasing after her. First one, then another. And Gerald is really trying. All in a day's work. Now you can see who rode hard for that trophy. And Gerald wasn't about to let his dad get away with it. They even trained their trophy girls early. Well, you have to, if the rider is only four years old. You know, people say to me, Fred, who built the pyramids? <laughs> who put the U in UFO, and why don't sunspots leave a stain? Well, I don't know that, but I do know this. The Anniverse is back, where all the savings you've ever missed are back, and yours now announcing Federated Giant Anniversary Celebration right now. Save on Sony TVs, JVC tape recorders, Iowa cassette decks, Panasonic answer phones, and Memorex floppy disks, and more. Federated's gigantic anniversary celebration, the lowest prices of the year right now. Get into Federated, or I'll do this. <laughs> Bye-bye, bottle dressings. Good Seasons Italian has a zesty taste you can't match. Shake it. Come on, shake it. Shake it up. Shake it up. Mix it up fresh so all the sweet bell peppers, the garlic and spices burst with flavor. It's the zesty taste that's got bottle dressings all shook up. Shake it. Come on, shake it. Shake it up. Shake it up. Good season salad dressing. Shake up the zesty taste. It's pieces of salt with milk and cream. Introducing Soft Swirl Freezer Soft Dessert. Ooh. In your favorite flavors, plus a vanilla chocolate combination. Wow. The combination, it's a dream. It's got the taste of soft ice cream. New Soft Swirl, it's like a soft ice cream machine. In your grocer's freezer. 
The Flower Children Come of Age, Tuesday at 11. Rarely in sports does an athlete come along who is bigger than the game that he or she plays. If ever someone has fit that description, it is today's legend. Even though he was a truly great baseball player, great enough for the Hall of Fame, his feats on the baseball diamond seem almost secondary. More than as a baseball star, today's legend is remembered as a social pioneer. He was the first black man to play Major League Baseball, Jackie Robinson. Greatest Sports Legends is brought to you by the 1985 Volkswagens. It's not a car, it's a Volkswagen. And by Lucite House and Trim, the paint that lasts and lasts.